Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to have a look at the game called For Northwood, which is a game from the ongoing 54 card design contest on Board Game Geek. And it's a very lovely game, looks very nice. And it's a solo trick taking game. So the basic premise is kind of familiar. You're supposed to uh, complete all these tasks. So if you see here, you have these eight um, creatures, animals, and uh, there's a signpost above which points which one is which. So first one, you're supposed to take zero tricks. Last one, you're supposed to take seven. And in between, it goes from one to seven. Um, so we're going to draw a hand of four cards and uh, eight cards and then we're going to see how many do we think we can take and then we're going to try to accomplish that task. Um, the difference in this game is that we have all these creatures that have different abilities and as we go through the forest and convince these um, leaders of these clans or whatever to join us, we can use their abilities to assist us in the further tasks. So we're going to see how it works. Um, we're going to start the game right away. So I have these um, eight animals set up already um, and these are my four assistants that are going to help me right away. I'm going to draw the eight cards from the top there we go. and we're going to have a look at it. Um, so the uh, the cards are very nicely designed. I mean um, I'm definitely going to get these uh, printed professionally because this is a very nice looking deck for um, for just standard games too. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at my hand and then I'm going to decide um, which one I want to do first. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with something easy. So I'm going to go to this guy right here. Um, so I need to take four tricks and the eyes are going to be the trump suit for this round. So I think I can take um, the seven and the five of trumps. And I would need um, at least two more. So either trump something or take both of these sixes or fives. But of course I have a lot of ability, so I'm not worried. So let's begin. So how we play is I'm going to draw, a, I'm going to discard a card from the top of the deck. And that's five of leaves. So now I, ha I have to play leaves two. And I have a higher card. So that's going to go into the scoring pile, and that's one. So I need exactly four. So let's keep going. So here's a three. I have to play a leaves. That's two. So it gets discarded because it's lower. Next. One of eyes. So um, I'm going to take that with a two. Okay, so I have two. Four. That's fine. Here's a five. Okay, I got three, so I can only take one more. I have to lose these three or these three. Okay, let's see here. Let me uh, use one of the abilities. So I'm gonna use this owl. So I can look at the top three cards of the deck and put them back in any order. So let's use it. Okay, so the top three cards are this. Um, so I think that's fine. I can take this with my five and then I can dump the seven and four of um, claws on these two and that should be fine. I'll, I'll, I'm only left with one of claws so let's do that. Okay, here we go. Next card. Three of flowers. I got five. Next one, four. I'm going to drop this one, six of eyes, I'll drop this one, and eight of claws, lose that one too. There we go, I got exactly four, so now I did complete this successfully. So I'm moving this one down just a little bit, so it shows that he's saying for Northwood, so he's on our side now. And uh, if we want, I can take him and put him on top of one of my helpers to use his ability instead of these four here. Okay, so I'm gonna reshuffle the cards and then we're gonna go to the round two. Okay, so I drew a lot of these flowers. Um, four of them are 
the lowest ones so I can only take this eight and um, I might be able to take one or two of these so I think because this one is a flower so if I use that one these are gonna be a problem and I can't go in the high ones because I don't have anything to take so I think I'm just gonna try to go for the one just one trick here so the claws are the trump I don't have any so I might be able to take the eight and maybe or maybe lose it and um, so just one trick I'm allowed to take so let's see how it goes so six um, you know what I think I'm gonna lose this one I think I'm gonna lose it okay let's see next one is a four I think I'm gonna lose that one too five okay I'm just gonna lose them until <laughs> until I have to take something. So the flowers, I'm not gonna count on them because there's only two more left. So I'm gonna count on the leaves, hopefully. Okay, um, let's use something. Let me look at the top three cards, see what they are. So no leaves. Okay. Do you know what? Um, so these are the three cards, but if I use this one, so let's do that. So I'm going to put the seven and then the five. Then I'll use this ability so I can look at the top card and exchange it with one of my cards. So I'm going to, oh no. That's not going to work either. No, that's not going to work either. No, it will work. Yeah, it will work. So I'm going to exchange it with this one. Now I have that. So the next card is that one. And I'm going to play my flower. And next card is five of eyes. I got seven. And I got one trick. There we go. Two down. Six to go. Okay, so a lot of flowers again. Um, I think I'm going to go for the uh, seven. I do have two trumps, but I have some really good abilities here that I want to use right away. So I'm going to get this dude to join us now. And this one can join us. here okay all right so I'm gonna go for the seven definitely I, I can't take seven with these cards but I can use the abilities to um, give me something so I'm gonna use this one first so this one lets me name a suit and then draw cards until I get that suit so I'm gonna name the eyes the Trump suit and now I can just keep drawing cards until I get some eyes. Okay, come on. Here we go. Okay. So now I think I have a much better chance of getting seven. So here maybe two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's see what happens. We can we can use some other abilities if we need to. So we have five. I can get that. That's one. Six of eyes, no problem. Two. Two of leaves. No, I have a one. Um, seven, I can get that. There's three. Four of claws, yes. That's four. Okay, three more. I can get these two and maybe one more. 
Okay, let's plan for that. Three leaves. Um, I'll trumpet with a five. So I have five. I need two more. One of claws. Six. I need one more. Uh oh. Might have overextended. Let me see. Okay, let's use this guy. So I can draw two cards, then discard two cards. Okay. So I'll discard these two claws. And here we go. Claws, there we go. So I am going to drop this leaves. Leaves, I'll drop this one. So no way I can I can take these, so these are all losers. Uh, this is a trump card, so I can just get something and that will be seven. Let's go. There's the claw, so I'm gonna trump it. Got seven, and the rest are losers. There we go, seven, great. All right, let's get to the second round. Okay, here we go. Um, so before I proceed, I just want to say uh, these cards are randomized and uh, below them it's uh, like an empty spot with a forest, but some of them have a star, three of them have a star. So if you're playing on a normal mode, once you complete the game, you'll check if all the ones you defeated have the star on this. So if you collected all three of the stars, you win the game. Um, so even if you lose some of them, you can still easily win. On the expert mode, once you lose a hand, you'll flip the card. And if it is a star, you get to continue. So in this case, if I lost this one and I flip it, it's not a star. I would lose right away. Uh, so that's a difference. So I think I want to play on the expert mode, but I kind of want to finish the perfect game. So I'm just going to play. If I lose any of these, I lost the game. Also, the ones we used just now, so they're only one time. So since I used them, they're removed from the game. Okay, and right now I am going for the Lady of Leaves. So that's going to be four or five. So five tricks and... I have three trumps and I have two high cards so I think that's going to be manageable. Let's see what happens. So two eyes, I'm going to take it with my high card. Six, that one I'm going to lose. Two of leaves, take it with my high one, so I got two. Okay, I'm forced to take that one. Um, let's see what else happens. Eight. Um, okay, I'm going to trump it. So I can only take one more. I'm going to discard this one. Uh, so one of them needs to be a trump for me to lose one of these. Okay, let's have a look at the top tr three cards. Yeah, there's a trump. There's two of them. Okay, that will work. So I'm just going to put these on top. Uh, eight. Oh no, I lost. One, two. There we go, five trumps. So that one is ours. Perfect. Okay, next hand. So um, I have a couple of eights, which should be easy to win. The other ones are kind of mid-range, so uncertain. But if I go for this one, I might be able to either trump something or make one of these work. So this one needs three, so I think I'm going to go for that one. So I need three tricks. Here we go. Uh, so that's a bad start right away, so I have to take that one. Seven. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to lose something to get back on track. So I'm gonna lose that four. Six. I can lose that. Uh, leaves. So that's a loser. Okay, I got three more 
eyes and I got a highest trump so that one is a winner so I just gotta take one of these there it is so that one's taken okay uh, now the only problem would be if I draw a two of eyes so let me just make sure that doesn't happen I'm gonna look at the top three cards again um, it doesn't happen so that's good so we know for sure that we won so that one I'll trump it that one I lose and that one I lose okay there we go the three tricks as requested still have one two three so I need zero two and six let's see what happens okay a bit of an issue here so I drew four flower cards so both zero and two are flowers so that's a lot of trumps to have to go for that low um, the six is leaves and I don't have any of those so either way it's gonna be difficult to proceed but I think I'm gonna go for the two of flowers that one is the only one that seems manageable with these cards um, I can only take two but this is this is a problem here so let's use one of the abilities um, so this one lets me discard a pair of cards whose sum is exactly nine so I'm gonna discard these two right away seven and two that helps um, let's see okay well um, let's proceed with that for now and we'll adjust as we go so let's see what happens eight yes definitely we're gonna lose seven um, okay let's trump it so we got one we can only take one more uh, okay let's see two all right I'm gonna take it can't take any more so let's have a peek at the top three cards so this one's not a problem not a problem not a problem okay so I think we're good we're good it was a little bit of touch and go there but so discard this one discard and this one there we go two tricks excellent so all we have is zero which is going to be tough and six which is also going to be tough but I do have a lot of abilities available so I might be able to pull through we'll see okay well a lot of eyes a lot of low eyes I only have two high cards and one trumps uh, if I go for zero so I think this is the time now to go for zero there is no way to take six with this um, so let's go for zero I guess uh, I'll have to use the abilities so let's see let's uh, discard a pair whose sum equals nine so that's going to be the trump and this six so this is the only problem now the seven of claws hopefully i can lose it oh okay now it's a really big problem so i'll have to play the seven if i draw another claw um you know what let's uh let's use this no let's not let's look at the top three cards see <laughs> i would have lost okay let me put it here and i'm gonna deal with it so next card is this one and I can lose that right that's a trump yeah I can just lose that this one I'll lose this six seven these are all losers there we go zero okay pretty good we only have the six left and it's the uh, leaves so that might be tough but let me see what I draw okay well I guess it's as good as it would 
have gotten so I have three trumps they're low other cards are all mid-range so definitely doesn't look like a six um, I'm gonna recruit this dude so he lets us draw two cards and I'm gonna put it on this one that discards a pair that sums to nine because we don't need to discard anything right now we need to win cards um, let's see what else do I want okay I think that's all I need okay let's uh, begin so we need six tricks I got three I can take that with a six Okay, let's see next one. Three of flowers. I can take that with a four. So I got two. Four more. I can take that one. Okay, three more. I can take that one. Okay. Now I think I'm doing too good. Yeah, uh, okay, I got all of them, so I just need one more, oh goodness. Okay, let's see, well, let's use this guy, so I'm going to name a suit, and I'll draw two cards, and just discard the suit I named, so I'm going to name the leaves, because I have too many trumps, there's a leaf. Okay, so that one's discarded. Still not good. Okay. Let's see what the next card is. I'm gonna lose that one. Okay. It's not looking good. Alright. Um, I am going to... Let me have a peek at the top three cards. Okay, I'm going to lose that one. These two I'm going to win, so I have to do something about that. So this one loses. I only have two more abilities, so I can draw a card. Or exchange the top. Hey, that's the one. That's the one I need. Okay. So look at the top card and exchange it with a card in your hand. That's what I need. So this one, I'll exchange it with one of my trumps. There we go. So this, oh no, I messed up again. Should have switched it with this one. Okay, so one card left. <sighs> I'll use my last ability. So this one lets me draw a card and unexhaust another ally so let's see this is tough this one or draw two cards okay let's uh Let's do that one. So let's see what the next card is. Nothing. Okay. So I have to win this one. I'm having a look at the top card. Yes. No. <laughs> no, I have to exchange it. I have to exchange it. No. <laughs> no. It was. I would have won. I would have won. Oh, God. I would have won if I didn't use any abilities. Can you believe that? Oh, goodness. Okay, well, there we go. Um, I lost. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, there we go. Um, excellent fun for Northwood. Great game. Um, I mean, solo trick-taking games are just... They're just great to play. It's um, These exact bidding games um they're always good but they have a problem that at towards the end of the game like like just now uh when you draw 
the last card and you have to go for that bit if you don't draw the right cards there's nothing you can do but so the, all these abilities really help to fix that problem um, I didn't mention that all of these cards they they are two-sided so there's a side with a crown and there's the other side without a crown um, so on the easy mode you can just use these cards without a crown and that supposedly helps I think the uh, the uh, the effects are better for example this one this one has a crown and the effect is to draw a card and unexhaust another ally uh, the good side says put the highest value card in your hand into the score pile so you can basically score one card for free so usually these these are better than the other ones so it, um, I was thinking about playing just with these but that seemed like kind of too hard maybe I never tried that so I didn't want to do it first time on the video um, well, the cards are beautiful what else to say about that I mean I, I just love these designs um, um, the designer is after the competition because it's a 54 card competition so he's gonna add more cards so maybe nines and ten so you have a full deck that you can make um, and then I'm gonna maybe print it professionally if I can so cuz um, I really like how these looks so that might be a nice deck to have um, is there anything negative I want to say uh, it may maybe feels a little bit too easy at the beginning because there's so many abilities that you can use so it, it doesn't feel like a challenge but once you start getting towards the end like last three two cards around that point then it's you start to feel the pressure rising because you have to go for these one of these three but your cards are not that good so you know you have to think about the abilities and all that stuff so it doesn't it doesn't feel quite as tense in the beginning but it definitely gets there towards the end. Um, yeah, overall, pretty good game. I also wanted to mention that the designer does have other games that was designed. He really likes the traditional card playing. Um, so there was a uh, like a deck, kind of like deck tet, like a deck special deck that you can use to play different games. I think it's called Ever Deck. Um, I haven't checked it out myself, but it sounds interesting. I love deck tet so that might be fun and there's also he has a pdf of like 10 uh, games you can play with standard cards and i tried all of them um they're all pretty good i, I really like a couple of them th that are just super addicting the one with the aliens attacking i forgot the name or maybe i'm not allowed to say it on youtube and uh, the uh, there was another one i forget um which one it was uh, i can't recall now and um, i'm kind of a um, under pressure so I can't recall but I'll leave the link to the PDF too if you want to check out those games they're all pretty good they're all kind of modern twist on the traditional card games so um, so everything from uh, deck building trick taking um, whatever you can think of it's in there so game for everybody so definitely check that out too and check out this game and vote the voting is gonna be three months long so you'll, you'll have plenty of time vote for Northwood for Northwood and that's all I have, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.